Hey guys, hello, hello. Welcome to Training Tuesdays. So it's getting later and later and um, I'm not sure how to deal with this situation with my Wi-Fi and um, well, hopefully my Wi-Fi holds up. Okay, um, I'm not sure how to deal with this situation with my Wi-Fi and my blackout zones. So you're just going to have to deal with some pretty crappy lighting for now. And I'm really, really sorry. But I'm going to do my best to um, figure out a situation. <laughs> because uh, right now I have my Sensi Go. Fuck yeah. Okay, um, I have this as my little light for us. Tonight it's just resting up against my phone in hopes that it kind of helps, that it's not as dark. If I kind of hold it here, it's not so bad. So maybe I'll just hold it here. <laughs> um, hey Virgie, oh you're so you're so cute. Thank you so much. Um, so I'll just kind of yeah, right. Look at this thing, Virg. I'm in love. So I have I don't have it on because I have my two dogs in the back. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, they're both lying down actually. So, um, but if you twist it, um, I have black raspberry vanilla in it and I don't have it on because of the dogs, but I, I'm so excited to use it. I have to do deliveries on probably Thursday or Friday, probably Friday. And, uh, I can't wait to take this with me. Hey, Brittany, how are you? Okay. So let's get started. Oh, that's helpful too. Yay. <laughs> Actually, I can just kind of put that there now. Okay, how does that look? Way better. All right. Okay. So Training Tuesday is on recruiting um, this week. And I've really been thinking about this one because on one hand, recently my recruiting has kind of been nothing um, amazing. I've had one or two and they've been rock stars. Um, but I know personally that I should be recruiting at least two people a month, if not more. Um, and I haven't been hitting that goal. So, but at the same time, I mean, we have an amazing group of people here. So obviously I've been doing something right. So this is kind of like a recruiting from the basics. Hey Jenna. Hey Sarah. Thanks for joining us ladies. Um, so this is kind of a recruiting from the basics. I'm probably going to ramble. I'm probably going to talk. So, but I really want to go from like the start to where you can be, you know, um, everybody's like, well, I don't want to recruit because I'm too young. Like I just started Sensi and, you know, and I'm like, Hey, that shouldn't stop you. Like my first recruit was six months in. Um, she's not with us anymore, but that happens. Um, I, oh God, people that aren't with us are probably bigger than the team that we have right now. Um, so that's, it's normal. It happens. Um, a lot of change normally happens. I think Verge, I think you're our, uh, long standing member, longest standing member. So to you, <laughs> thanks for being with us, girl. Um, but anyways, so everybody has to start somewhere and there's no reason that your new teammate and you can't start at the same place, like start new together. Um, I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to, and to help like your teammates. Like some of the people on this video aren't even directly under me yet. You know, we still talk at least once a week or we you know whatever. If you have a question, you can shoot me a message. You guys know that. Um, so it doesn't have to be that you as their sponsor gives them the majority of the information. Like, yes, the train of like the chain of command for questions should be, you know, your workstation you know, your sponsor, your director, your star director, etc. Um, but if you're a new consultant and you're building your team, heck yeah, I'm going to be there to help you because that's scary. <laughs> no one knows what to do with the team at the beginning. It's, it's, you know, you still don't really know what you're doing. Um, so you have to just not like, there shouldn't be an excuse to why you can't recruit. Like you can't say to me, Oh, I can't recruit because I just started Sensi or, Oh, I can't recruit because I'm too busy or, Oh, I can't recruit. Like there's just, this is a business where to make the most out of your, like your commissions and your compensation for your sales, you need to be recruiting. You need to have a team. So something that I don't know if you've noticed in the compensation plan is that there's an actual bonus for recruiting or not, sorry, no, 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 no bonuses for recruiting because that's against the direct sales association um, and all the rules, but there's an actual bonus on your personal sales, but you can't get that until you have an active team member and um that like 
we're all earning 25% unless we sell over 2000. Would you not want to be earning more money off your own sales without having to sell 2000 PRV? You know, that's kind of easy, right? Why not? And then, so the more people that you have active underneath you and the higher that your team values go, the more that, that bonus is off of your own sales. So just on that alone, it's worth it. Um, and then also if they're your front line, so if they're directly under you, you'll earn a percentage off of them. Now it's a small percentage, but when you have a, enough people under you as your front line, it does add up. Um, and again, the higher that your team values are, the higher that bonus will be, um, that percentage will be off of your teammates. Now, what I love about Sensi is you can't have a million people under you and not sell a dime. It just won't work. Um, since you won't allow it and you won't make money off of them. You have to sell at least 500 PRV a month to make uh, the commissions and the bonuses off of your downline and your personal sales. This is to keep people from sitting at the top, from like recruiting a bunch of people and then sitting at the top and not doing anything, um, which is fair. <laughs> like I don't want anybody above me to be able to do less work than me. I think we should all have to work equally to have our, our businesses. And like, I know that Megan Clements and that Shannon Westman work their butts off for their business. And that's what makes me happy to be under them. So, um, these are just reasons why you should recruit, right? Um, I'm not going to come on here and tell you like, this is the magic word. This is what you say. So if that's what you're looking for, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I don't even like, it's just not going to happen. Like there's no magic word. There is no magic script that you use. You have to be truthful. You have to remember that you're not doing it for yourself. You're, you are looking to build your team, but you're looking to help others succeed and find something in themselves that they might not know that they had. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely would not be doing live videos and um, going to events and parties and talking to random people on Facebook and doing Facebook parties and going live with them. Like, that's a whole different part of my my personality. Like I am very shy. And so like, like I was at a team get together last night and I had my sensey stuff and I was labeling it and I wouldn't have brought up sensey to these people because I don't want to feel like I'm being that pushy sensey lady. I see them every week. They, they, most of them are on my Facebook. They should know I sell it. Like my car's decked out. My, my ball bag has a buddy clip and a scent pack. And so, and I'm always joking with other people in the league that are my customers. So they know but I was labeling my Sensi and I started talking to three of them about it. I gave three of them catalogs. One of them's a realtor. So I kind of mentioned to her, you know, the possibility of gifts, closing gifts, or um, even just staging homes with the scent. So that's not something I would have done before because I'm shy and I don't really like to push these things, right? So Sensi has kind of helped me open up my own, another realm of my personality not to mention the side cash is pretty decent if you are willing to put a little bit of work into it so I mean I like that I can cover things like my vet appointments or credit card bills or whatever the heck I have to do I know that I can control that income as long as I get that order in before the end of the month and so that's what we need to share it's not I need you on my team because I need to hit bonuses. It's I'd love to have you on my team because there's potential for you to do great things. Like you want to boost their attention. So um, it's not about you. That's like the main goal. The main thing to remember is it's not about you. You want them to feel comfortable. You want them to feel excited. Um, so building contacts. So first of all, um, Interest groups on Facebook. So are you in groups like Knitting 101 or, you know, Toy Poodles Rock or whatever, whatever your your interests are. Um, there's normally a group on Facebook regarding it. There's probably tens of thousands of people in it. And you got to get in there and you just got to get commenting. You got to make a post. You got to, you know, joke one day, you know, or would you rather not regarding Sensi. And then eventually people will add you because they're like, wow, this person really interacts and she's got cute dogs or whatever you're posting. She's great at knitting, whatever. Um, I'd love to be a friend. She's really funny. Um, that kind of stuff. Right. And then they'll go and they'll, they'll add you as your friend. Then you're going to talk to them. And you're going to say, Hey, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. Just going to chat. Just keep it, keep it cash. Um, then you're going to post about Sensi. And they're going to be like, what the heck is this? 
and you're just gonna get talking to them hey what do you do for a living you know tell me about yourself and let them answer the questions talk about them you don't want to talk about you you're gonna say you have a small home-based business um or like whatever or whatever you do so i'm a teacher with a small home-based business on the side whatever um and then you just talk about it just be casual make friends you have to make friends to recruit um so that's a main thing you have to be talking to new people all the time you have to be um making for oh i didn't i forgot to invite everybody oops um, anyways, you have to be making new friends. You have to be invite, uh, talking to people. You have to be making conversation. You can't just message someone and be like, hey, you want to join my Sensi, Sensi team? People are going to get annoyed with you. I mean, we are all like, we all want to do it, but it's not the way to go. And that is the way I've gotten some of my first team members, but I don't think any of them are still with us. And I don't know if they ever did too well. Um... So you really have to find people who are interested in the business opportunity. They're interested in the like just the ability to to earn income on their own time. Like I think to me that's very powerful. Um, so you have to find what's powerful for you. Why are you with Sensi? And you have to find people with the with the like minds. That's you know, your vibe builds your tribe and. You know, that's that's just what I believe in. Um, so, yeah, commenting link. Eventually, you'll message people. Um, also, how many people do you have on your friends list that you don't even talk to? Try and send them a message every once in a while. It doesn't have to be sensory related. Just, hey, how you doing? How was your weekend? I saw that you posted about your dog. How's he doing? How old is he? So cute. Just conversation. Just making friends. And then eventually they'll be like, oh yeah, he's super cute, but you know, he's just so gosh darn stinky all the time. And you're like, girl, I can help with that. So that's kind of like, you know, you got to just work it in. You got to make friends. You got to talk to people. You also have to be working in Sensi to your daily life. Um, How many people work in an office? Like I work at, and I think this is a big part of my slump too, but I work at yes, Virgie, your vibe attracts your tribe. It's a huge thing. Like you girls are my friends. Like, I don't... Like, I have friends, I guess, kind of outside of this. But not really. You guys are my friends. Um, So, you know, I wouldn't want to be on a team with people that I disliked. Right? Because that's no fun. Um, I wouldn't want to have to do anything with people I dislike. Because who wants to do that? Um, But if you work at a place where you interact with the public, you have so much opportunity there. You don't even have to be, like, all sensey. Just be like, hey, you know, I love your purse. You know, you seem like a cool a cool person, you know. Um, chat with them. Compliment them. Say, you know, you, you know, you say, so you go up to them. You say, hey, I think you have a, you know, great purse. Uh, I love it. Where'd you get it? And then you kind of start a conversation with them. And you're like, you know what? Can you add me on Facebook and shoot that to me in a message? Because I will just forget. And you just open up your Facebook and you say, just here, just search your name right here. And then so they'll search their name. And then you click, this is you. Yeah, you click add. Boom, new Facebook friend when you get home. Then you send them that message. You say, girl, I can't stop thinking about that purse. Can you tell me where you got it? You know, just, just add, that you have to, I, I cannot, I know this sounds so funny, but you, I can't, I can't um, express it enough. Like you have to add people on Facebook. You have to just get people on your Facebook page so they can see how much you're loving your Sensi journey because you need to be totally reshaping your, your Facebook page as well. Your Facebook page should be positivity. Positivity. I look at some of my memories and I'm like swearing and you know like every once in a while when I get heated up on a post I will use a swear word but I try to keep it off of it now. I try to keep it more positive. Um, I mean don't get me wrong. I still share things like you know, legislations about pit bulls or animal abuse or whatever I'm, you know, but I try not to share things like really negative, like, oh, had the worst day at Walmart today. And you know, some lady pushed into my cart. Like that doesn't need to go on Facebook to me. Like I'll, I'll rant it out to like my mom or whatever, Nathan, but I won't put it on Facebook because, or I'll text my girlfriends, but I won't put it on Facebook because to me, I want my Facebook to be positive. I want it to be sensey lady you should be clean and it should be happy and just you just want people to be like you know I can't what is she doing why is her life so awesome you know and like yes okay I know this sounds now like I'm telling you to fake your life on Facebook but that's not what I'm telling you to do either we all have our ups and downs um but you want people to be interested in what you're doing with Sensi and you want them to be like wow she looks so happy selling her Sensi doing her deliveries wrapping her gifts 
etc. Um, so make sure that your Facebook page is positive, it's clean, you can tell that you're a Sensi Consultant, I can't stress that enough either. Um, current contacts, so like I said, how many people on your Facebook page do you have that you haven't talked to? And then after a while, you'll notice that they kind of say something about, yeah, I've been debating on a second job, but um, I'm not really sure if I want to add the time in or the hours or whatever. And that's when you're going to be like, have you ever considered direct sales? Because it's really something you can do, you know, an hour before you go to bed or whatever you decide. And uh, then they'll just be intrigued. And you don't have to be pushy. I know, um, Virgie, one of your questions was how do you not be pushy? Um, to me, you got, you, it's because you're not going to go up to them and be like, hey, want to join my team? And then two days later be like, hey, want to join my team? Hey, I know you said yesterday that you weren't sure about joining my team, but are you ready to join my team? You want to like message them and be like, hey, you know, I know you were. So first of all, how was your weekend? You know, I saw you took the kids to a party this weekend. What'd you guys do? Whatever. Right. Um, and then you're going to be like, you know, I just want to let you know there's only a few days left. Oh, Virgie, me too, girl. Don't even worry. I'm the shyest person in the world. And you just got to remember that you're talking about something you love and you're confident in what you're saying because you're going to know what you're talking about. And if you don't, just say, I'll, I'll get the answer for you. I'm not going to give you the wrong answer, so let me look it up and I'll get back to you. And people will like that. People won't get upset about it. So just, you're talking about what you love, so just be open about it, you know? Like, what what do you really, think about something that you really love, that you're really comfortable talking about, and then make yourself comfortable about recruiting in the same way that you are with that because that's what it should be it should just be something that you're naturally speaking about you know I love my job this is why I do it and this is why you should join me too because it could work in your lifestyle this way so um so yeah talking to people so you're gonna say you know how was your weekend how was the kids that kind of stuff um you know I know there's only a few days left for this join kit I know you were interested I just wanted to make sure that you didn't miss it up or pass it up um, you're going to answer all their questions. Remember, less is kind of more. I'm not saying withhold anything, but don't kind of word vomit on them either. Um, remember how you felt when you first signed up? It was scary. It was overwhelming. There was a bit of anxiety. Um, so you, if you information overload, um, it won't, it won't work out for you, you know? Yeah, Sarah. Awesome. I'm glad you're loving it. I'm so glad you joined our team, girl. We love, love having you. Um, but yeah, so don't information overload on people. Okay, I'm going to swipe these so I don't get distracted. Uh, don't information overload because some people get overwhelmed. And I mean, think about it. When you first joined, you would have gotten overwhelmed too. You don't want all that information. So um, just kind of give them, answer their questions, but ask questions about themselves. Why would Sensi work for you? Why do you, where do you think Sensi could fit in your life? What do you expect out of Sensi? Um, you know, tell them basic commission starts at 20% until you sell your, th your thousand PRV lifetime, then you get 25, you know, uh, build your team members for way better commissions, et cetera, et cetera. Um, consistency with posting the opportunity. Like I said, we have so many people on our Facebook page. Um, but we don't always, we always take advantage of them for sales. We don't always take advantage of them for recruiting. So like ask who is looking to get a second job, but doesn't have time. Um, that kind of stuff. And I mean, I try to post something about recruiting every day. I either post the join kit or I will, um, post something about how I love Sensi. Like, oh, packing up my Sensi order today. Love my job. Hashtag whatever, whatever. Um, same when I got, was waiting for the Sensi Go, one of the perks of being a Sensi consultant is I get to open my goodies right away. I don't have to wait for delivery. Um, things like that. Just making people kind of be like, you know, I could be a Sensi consultant too, because let's face it, none of us really came into this thing to be rock stars. We just kind of came into it for free and half price Sensi and look at where we are now. So that's kind of all bonus and you never know who's going to be your next rock star. So never doubt that someone doesn't need the opportunity. You don't know where they are in their life financially. Sensi could be the biggest blessing to them possible. They could be the two hundred or three hundred dollars that they'll make in their first month month of Sensi could make the world a difference to them. You don't know. Then they might get the bug. They might realize that the more they sell, the more they make. So let's get selling. You know. Um. So there we go. So something to keep in mind. Just make sure you're offering the opportunity every day to people. 
Um, on average, you'll recruit one person out of every 10 people that you speak to. So that's a goal to work towards, um, something to think about. But yeah, you have to, you got to talk to people. That's, I mean, that's, there's a, there's no magic key that that's it. You have to talk to people. The more people you talk to, the more you'll recruit. Um, following up with your recruit. So if you have somebody that, woo, it's okay. <laughs> if you have somebody that even asks a question or likes a post about recruiting, I want you to put them on a list. And on this list is going to be your potential recruits. I should have gotten coconut lemongrass for this since you go because there is mosquitoes in this car. Um, okay. So follow the 222 rule when you're contacting these people on this list. So two days, two weeks, two months. So um, when they initially come to you about the opportunity, you know, give them two If they ever stop responding or whatever, the conversation kind of dies off. Give them two days, then message them. If they don't answer you then or whatever, you chat or whatever, then you kind of restart it if you chat. Um, but if they don't answer you, then you give them two weeks and then you give them two months. But make sure you always have these people on this list and then you have them on the two-day list, the two-week month or two, the two-day, two two-week or two-month list so you know who to follow up with and when. Um, this ensures that you're not missing anybody and you're making sure you're telling everybody the special of the month or whatever the situ situation is. But that's kind of another thing that helps with not being pushy because then you're like, oh, it's not like I'm messaging them every day and not realizing or, you know, anything like that. Um... Make sure that you tell them why it's going to help them. Like, oh, I can't wait for you to join my Sensi team. It's, you're going to love being able to make money on your own time. Like, it's going to make the world of difference to you. Or whatever. Just make sure that you're telling them why they're going to love Sensi and why it's going to benefit them. Because it's about them. It's not about you. Um, yeah. I wish I had more for you guys, but like that's that's really it. You just have to get talking to people. You have to be offering the opportunity. You have to be prepared to answer questions about the opportunity, and you have to share why you love the the, the opportunity that you get with Sensi. Um, and it's not like you have to have earned trips or anything to recruit. Um, I recruited most of you guys before, or not recruited most of you guys, but most of you guys have joined my, the team before um, before I even earned Punta Cana. So, I mean, it's got nothing to do with that. You just have to talk to people. You have to be friendly. You have to be positive. You have to be likable, which is very hard for me. Um, <laughs> but we do it because um, we know that it's it's worth it. Like, we, I love my sensey job. I love being able to do what I do. And I know that I have to build my team to make this a viable business option for myself and for Nathan. Um our goal is that we can have kids without having maternity leave because I'm going to just be rocking Sensi. So, I mean, when you have goals like that, you have to recruit and you have to sell and you have to kick butt. Um, so, yeah, that's it's just the thing is I just we just I just don't have an option. That's my motivation. And so you need to find your motivation and you need to, to figure out your why and you need to share that with people and you need to make it clear. This brings you. Anytime, Scarlett. Thanks for joining us. I'm so glad that this helps you. Um, but you just need to share why you love Sensi and why you're here and why or, and what you want to do with your business. And then you'll recruit people that are like-minded as well. Um, yeah, that's really all I got for you guys. Um, I hope that this was helpful. If anybody has any questions, please, 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 please put them in the comments. I love answering them. Um, but, and remember that you can recruit in the U S you can recruit in the UK, you can recruit in Australia, New Zealand, like your, your result, your possibilities are endless. So jump on some Facebook groups around the world, offer your opportunities around there. The mass posting, sometimes it's hit and miss. It really, and it's more miss than hit. I'm telling you, it's really not worth the time or energy that we put into that. I mean, Every once in a while you find someone that way. I find someone that way in my local groups for sales all the time. That's a different story. But for recruiting, I don't think it's our best option. And 
I think that your best way to go for Facebook wise recruiting is to join some groups that you are with similar interests with and just participate and like and comment and commenting is huge comment to people reply to people's comments you know express your personality online make some online friends and I think that will be the key for most of you guys because I know everybody here has got a busy lifestyle but don't forget about um asking even the people around you just because they live in the same area as you doesn't mean that they can't be a recruit and if they're not the recruit ask them do you know anybody who would like to start making money from home or something along those lines you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, that person specifically. And a lot of the times if you ask them, hey, I have an opportunity. I'm looking for somebody who's looking to work from home. Do you know anybody who would fit that bill? 90% of the time they'll say it's them. They'll be like, I'm interested in more info. What do you got? It's true. It's really true. So I'm telling you, building your team is important it is so 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 important I cannot stress it enough um and that's the only way to earn this trip you have to have to have to build your team because you have to promote and you have to help your recruits do the same so you know if there's any questions that you're not comfortable asking here feel free to message me um but uh, answer or like ask questions below I'd love to answer them but yeah, no, I, I, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, if you have any ideas for the next training Tuesday, please let me know. Or if anybody would like to take it over, feel free. Um, but yeah, okay, you guys have a fantabulous night and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.